Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which you'll learn how to solo using your fingers alone. No pick necessary because we're gonna learn chicken picking. I'm gonna teach you the prominent method of soloing using your fingers, uh, the one used by the likes of Mark Knopfler and John Schofield and Joe Pass at times and even Steve Morse at times. So um, everybody who uses their fingers to solo, okay, to solo on an acoustic and electric, even in a classical sometimes, uh, unless they're classically trained players or flamenco players, use the chicken picking method. And why is that? Because it's a very, very versatile method. You can create a real sense of, um, of clarity or dirt using the chicken picking method. You can control the dynamics to a T there. Let me show you. See, from a full twang to a very, very subtle eh? blues picking style uh, that really creates a really, really interesting expression, um, especially on an electric guitar. It creates a completely different expression than by using a pick. So um, the method is called chicken picking uh, for one of two reasons. Um, I choose to believe that it's because it sounds like a clucking. Okay, the clucking of a chicken. But because we're plucking the strings, it might have reminded someone of plucking the feathers off of a chicken or something. People are weird. I choose to believe the first one because it sounds like the clucking of a chicken. So enough about uh, theorizing. Uh, let's play. The method requires the thumb and one finger, okay? Either your first finger and you're just alternating between, but most people use the second finger, okay? For two reasons. One, it's more convenient. And then if you want to play double stops, okay, you use the first and second ones, okay? So, okay? And also for arpeggiating, okay? You use all three. But for soloing, it's uh, more convenient to play using the thumb and the second finger. But if it's more convenient for you to play with the first finger, do it. Um, now, it's always alternating. It's thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. So the first thing you need to do to get used to, Travis, uh, to chicken picking is to uh, play a note, like I just did. Three on the third string. Okay, and explore it with pull-offs, with hammer-ons, with different uh, volumes, with full twang or very low-key uh, type of uh, dynamics. And um, the, the cool thing is that you can use ghost notes by uh, just putting your finger on the string and just stopping to press for a moment okay, and muting it. And then you create more dynamics. Now, only after you're used to alternating between your chosen finger and the thumb, play um, the second finger, then the first finger, then the thumb, and you create this, the triplet, all on the same string, okay? And if you want to create an even cooler lick, play the thumb first and then the three fingers. And then you create ta ta ta. Can you hear it? Okay. Now um, it's the same expression used by okay the this the arpeggio. Okay. It's the thumb, first finger, second finger, and then the thumb again. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna use that. But first, get used to doing it on one string, even though it's harder, okay? It pays to practice it right from the top, okay? To create the, the triplet feel, because it will make everything so much easier if you try to do it from the top. You don't have to, just giving you ideas for exercises. Now, um, about soloing, okay? You alternate the, the fingers. The most important thing is to alternate every time you have two separate strings, okay? The rest 
is your choice, okay? Because it gives different dynamics. For example, I was playing six on the third string and five on the second. Okay, so I was playing the thumb on the third string and my finger on the, uh, the second string. Okay, and then, okay, creates two different expressions. Instead of just using the thumb, okay, which creates a different dynamic, or just a finger, okay, which gives us the same dynamic, two different expressions. Okay, it's very subtle, but the ear catches on to it. Okay, it picks up. Um, then you can continue the, the lick any way you want. You can play seven, eight, you can bend seven. Okay, and this is where it becomes interesting because it's your choice from now on. You can keep alternating or you can just use the finger to use the same dynamic or just the thumb. So you have thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, or thumb, finger, thumb, finger, or thumb, finger, 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 okay? Um, the main point is to alternate between the strings, and if you're on the same string, if you want a uh, fast lick, okay, then you want to alternate. But if you have a slow lick, you can do whatever you like, depending on the dynamic you want to create. Same finger. Different fingers using mostly the thumb, right? So experiment with these notes, okay? Just of one position on the neck, okay? Until you get the different sound approaches. Now, if you're playing an electric guitar, try different strengths because when you have a very low key distortion, it creates really interesting uh, results when you change the dynamics and the volumes and the strength, okay? You can pluck, but on an acoustic, it creates a very distinct result, while on an electric, it creates different results depending on the strength. Now, um, if you want to arpeggiate, as I said, you use three fingers, right? The thumb and then two fingers. Now, uh, I'm playing an E minor arpeggio, seven, eight, nine on strings, one, two, and three, okay? So, yeah, you can, okay? You can create a line and use, another finger uh, on 10 on the E string or the thumb again. Okay, and then that creates the chicken picking sound. Okay, and you can pull it off and back down using the fingers. Or do it again. Okay? Or you can use the finger. Now again, this creates one dynamic while the thumb creates a different one. Right? Um, now, if you want to learn the, the famous, um, the famous um, uh, Sultans of Swing, almost forgot the name, a blackout, the Sultans of Swing line, again, it's very simple. You alternate. You bar 10 on strings one and two. You play thumb and finger, second string, first string. Then you pull off from 13 to 10 on the first string using your thumb again. And that creates the dynamic. Okay, so basically your thumb goes thumb, finger, and then thumb, pull off, thumb again. And this, the alternation, allows you to actually execute it in speed, in full speed. Now, uh, it's the same idea behind licks such as this. Okay, again. Okay, fast licks. Okay, the alternation. Okay, the alternation enables you to do it fast without breaking the sweat. Okay, even when you play it slower and variate on the lick. So, um, what's going on here? Okay, I'm still uh, on five and seven. And I'm barring uh, one and two, okay, strings one and two on five. I'm hammering on five to seven on the second string, starting with my thumb. And then I'm hammering on seven on the first string and pulling it back down to five, okay, with my finger. Okay, thumb, finger. And then, okay, 
Then I have seven on the second string and five on the first string, so it's thumb, finger again. Okay, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Then, thumb again, pull off from seven to five on the second string. Then, it's six on the third string, thumb again, preparing for the finger on the second string, five hammer on to seven. So you see, the pull off here enables me to move my hand and play the thumb on the third string. Okay, so, okay, it's just an alternation, a constant alternation. That's the secret to chicken picking. And before we move on to double stops, I want to show you another thing. Okay, something like this. Um, basically, I'm playing the first uh, string with my finger and my second string with my thumb. Okay, and I do a sort of a slide from um, four to five on the second string. Then I play the first string and the second string. Okay, and then I just create a little lick with uh, seven pull off to five, eight pull off to five on the E string. And after each E string, I play the five on the B string. Okay? Right? And this creates an interesting expression. Right? And I can finish on a unison. Okay? It's sort of a unison like with five on the E string and a slide from uh, A to 10 on the B string. Okay, something like this. And you can resolve it any way you wish. The idea here is to alternate between strings one and two with your thumb and your finger. Okay, anything works here. Now, double stops, okay, is a different uh, animal. Uh, you use two fingers, the first and second fingers, uh, or the second and third, okay, sometimes the second and third are more comfortable and sometimes the first and second are more comfortable. And of course, if you want to play three notes, uh, okay, then you use all three fingers, but that's no longer chicken picking. So, right? So uh, it's seven on the fourth string with my thumb and I slide from six or from five and then I can play it again. And then five on strings two and three and I pick it. Right? And then I play five, uh, play uh, seven on the fourth string again. Then I play seven on strings two and three. Right? Right? So play around with that first. Right? Create different uh, different licks using these notes. Right? Different uh, different uh, rhythmic expressions. Then you can hammer on. Uh, from five to six on the third string. So you have five and five on strings two and three and you hammer on from five to six. So right, you can do, right, you can do it three times and then end on seven, five on strings, dogs, uh, two and three, couch, me. Okay, so, and you can, uh, you can do it uh, anywhere. They create different, um, hey, different expressions. You can create different legs. Okay, something like this using three and zero on the second and third strings with the open D string. See, I palm muted it and then ended on a slide or. Uh, And taking the same um, the same shape down two frets and playing it there, or uh, something completely different. Okay, uh, using a single note solo. Okay, we're using open strength. Using the alternation, of course, and then adding double stops to that on three and five using uh, strings two, three, and four with open strength. Um, so 
that's uh, some of the things you can do with chicken picking. And the idea is to mix it up and get so used to chicken picking that you can play everything. <laughs> You can do double stuff with the, the country band. See? Different expressions, different dynamics. Uh, twangy feel or a very subtle low key feel. That's the beauty of chicken picking. So uh, one last tip. I don't have a pick uh, with me here, but you can um, play a solo using a pick and change to chicken picking by chambering the pick. Now let's imagine I'm holding a pick. You just hold it using your first finger and then you have the second finger and the third finger and the thumb free for soloing with chicken picking, right? like this, okay? You hold your pick using your first finger and then you solo. Now, even if I had a pick here, it's a very small thing, so you'd have to believe me, but you just hold it while you solo and then you just catch it with your thumb and take it back out and solo. And you can change back in, back out, chamber it, take it back. It's easier than it looks. Looks like a very complicated thing, but it's really not. Everybody does it. So you just hold the pick using your finger and take it back out by holding it back with your thumb and then you solo and then you chamber it and take it out and use your pick, my invisible pick. So um, before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons over here and it's free. So what have you got to lose? I don't see any reason why you haven't subscribed yet. So please do and join the Lick and Rush community. I'd be happy to have you here. Everything is for free, as I said, but if you want to give something back anyway, look at the description. Uh, there is a link to the Patreon page. If you want to become a Lick and Rush patron, everything goes right back into Lick and Rush into making your own lessons and your free education. And um, I thank you very much in advance for any pledge you choose to make and your support of Lickenriff. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.